Hey guys, I'm really happy today. I just got my component marks and I got 24 out of 24 for my physics IA So I thought I will make a tutorial for you guys. I've put my IA down in the description So you can download it remember not to copy any of it or you will not be getting your diploma Use the structure use the ideas get the basic idea of how I did it and you can emulate that There's no problem with that. Just no plagiarism. No copy paste. Thank you so much. All right first things first Many people are confused about this, so I'll just get this out of the way. The structure for my IA was introduction, hypotheses, variables, independent variable, dependent variable, controlled variables, then materials, method, risk assessment, data and analysis, conclusion and evaluation. Alright, so it's really important that whenever you're doing your IA, you open your syllabus so that you can know exactly what to do. I have highlighted some points here, so your IA is 20 20% of the final assessment, uh, uh, it should be taking about 10 hours, I'm not so sure about that, and it should be 6 to 12 pages long, mine was about 11 to 12 pages long, and that was good, so if your first draft is longer than 12 pages, don't worry, you will always find things to cut out in the end and make it 12 pages long. I recommend you use the maximum page length, at least 10 pages if you want to get 24 out of 24. Next, the five assessment criteria are personal engagement, exploration, analysis, evaluation, and communication. Over here, I basically highlighted everything because I was reading all of this. I think you should read the criteria for yourself and look at these words. You, I'm going to tell you what to do to be in the top band for every single criteria. Don't worry about that. Let's go to my IA. Here is my IA, the dynamics of a cantilever. This is a document that I submitted to IB in about 24 out of 24. My research question was how does the vertical depression of a cantilever respond to a change in the distance at which an external force is applied to the cantilever? Alright, let's not care what that even means. I want you to focus on the word research question. It's so important that you find the right research question because that's what your IA is all based on. Alright, there's a common misconception, actually it's not a misconception, it's how it's supposed to be done, that you create your research question before you write your IA. I did that, but when I realized I was facing some limitations, I changed and evolved my research question to suit my IA in the end so that I was able to answer it better. So don't force yourself to keep the same research question if you want to get the full marks you need to be able to keep rephrasing it into something that's really great. You can even write your conclusion first and then form the research question in the end. That's not how it's supposed to be done. It's unofficial. I would probably not like that. But look, we want a 24 out of 24. And research question is so important. Every teacher, every examiner would look at it. And as soon as they look at that research question, they would know, yes, this student really gives a damn about his research. Introduction, I just talked about beams. This is what a cantilever is. It's basically, uh, it's basically just something hanging from the table. I used a ruler, a metal ruler, and I put mass at different lengths and just saw how much it was bending. The scientific word is how much depression there was. And this is what a cantilever is. So introduction, beams are an essential part of engineering and a beam that's rigidly connected at one end to a fixed support and free to move at the other end is called a cantilever beam. What you're doing in the introduction is personal engagement, guys. Do not forget this. Talk about it as if you love it so much. I had no idea what a cantilever was. My uh, physics teacher told me it's a good topic. Perhaps you can get a nice six out of it because it's a simple topic. I took it explored it so much more than uh, my teacher expected and I got 24 out of 24 but this is all about personal engagement this is all about personal engagement as I said over here as a child I played Jenga a game which employs the concept of cantilevers to evoke children's interest I did not play Jenga that much I did play Jenga as a child and that just helped me for my personal exploration so your exploration marks your personal engagement marks you can get them from anywhere just relate yourself to the topic you're studying 
Okay, so I realized the importance of cantilevers in mechanical engineering, etc, etc, personal exploration, and here's my research question. I created a diagram, diagrams are great. Uh, make labels, make diagrams. I used uh, Google drawings for my diagram. Over here, all my economics uh, diagrams as well, I used Google drawings, it was just great. And I kind of explained the theory over here, how it would dip, uh, how uh, there would be depression if you put this mass further along somewhere over here the depression should be higher etc etc i did a lot of research as you can see there's citations over here in the introduction and the relationship between distance and vertical depression s is determined below it's not a linear relationship that's my hypothesis so i've used logarithms to linearize it this is just uh, maths and you will learn that in chapter 1 how you can use log to create a linear equation. Alright, let's not focus on that, let's not focus on the theory that much. After that I created a hypothesis. What I've done so far is shown my engagement with the topic and then I kind of derived my hypothesis over here and then put my hypothesis after the introduction. Here it is, this is the equation I'm expect. I'm here to solve an equation to an experiment. I think that's a great idea, find something else like a pendulum experiment and create an equation. Creating an equation would be great for your physics IA. Variables, independent variable, dependent variable, controlled variables for your controlled variables create a table. Variable to be controlled and why and how the variable is to be controlled. Let's uh, move on to the materials. I created a materials table and properties are not necessary but I thought it would be a nice thing to just show them and show the uncertainty. Look, the more you do, the more things you can add to it, uh, as long as it doesn't become confusing, the more clarity you put in your IA, the more marks you're gonna get. Just make sure it's uh, the the font is at 11 or 12, keep it 11, and keep the line spacing small so you can get all of this into 12 pages. My IA draft 1 was really bad, I had like a 14 out of 24 for that. I actually made 5 drafts. All I was doing in every single draft was writing my sentences differently, fixing the English, making it look really scientific. My IA was done in the very first draft and I would have gotten a 14, but since I just decided to make everything so concise, I actually got a 24. So let's continue with this method, always have a diagram. Alright, observations and measurements before comment. How are you going to collect the raw data? You download the IA, read it, read it by yourself, I'm not here to read out the IA. Next, risk assessment. If you look at the syllabus over here, sorry, it's actually right here. Go up before the IA, before the marking criteria, and you will see this entire thing about safety in the in the physics syllabus. So put a risk assessment in there. There's a lot of things you can even find in that list dangerous. If it's a simulation, just put risk assessment there and say there are no significant risk assessments. Data and analysis, this is what most of your IA is gonna be about. The better this is, the better the entire IA, the better the data and analysis, the better you will be able to conclude about your hypothesis, the better your evaluation will be. I took three trials, I wrote at least five data samples, I had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep, I had nine uh, data samples. I have varied my independent variable nine times. Do it at least five times. Have about five trials. I would say that that would look really nice. Don't do just one trial. That would not look good in your IA. At least three trials and at least five independent variable. You varied it at least five times. Zero doesn't count. After that, I calcul. I give a sample of my calculation how I calculated the mean. I just did it on my calculator, but look, it showed that I am really uh, providing evidence for every single thing I did. It looks nice on your IA that you're being really scientific about this. You're not assuming any single thing. Everything is calculated in your data analysis. So put every single calculation, even the ones on you do on your calculator, but put it in there. Put it on the IA. All right, this is a processed data. 
vertical depression of the beam. Next, I did a graphical analysis. I used Microsoft Excel. Error bars are really crucial. Don't forget to make your error bars. Look up on the internet how to make error bars. It's really simple. At first, I was really disappointed with the result. I thought I had to do another IA, but I had an idea. Look, I had nothing to do after this. I just got a cubic relationship and my hypothesis was wrong. What do I do now? All right. I said that there could be deformation, the cantilever would actually bend more and more as I do the experiment because there's so much weight on it. So the cantilever broke more and more. And then I just thought about proving that. So my IA has taken another turn. By the time I reached trial 3, the cantilever was bending more and more every time uh, for six distances. And again, which meant that there was deformation. I just created a table about that. Uh, you're actually supposed to evaluate throughout, not just at the end, though you're supposed to evaluate at the end as well, but it should be seen throughout your IA. Uh, so I ignored that cubic relationship after that because I had to prove my hypothesis was correct. I got, uh, I converted the data into logarithmic form. Just read this in your own time. Okay, none of my points are in the error bar. But if that happens to you, look, don't worry, you didn't do it wrong. Look at that graph. It's complete nonsense if you do not justify it. This thing looks ultra wrong, but I still got a 24 out of 24 because I explained it right here. The line of best fit does not intersect any plotted bar. However, the equation is verified below by calculating the percentage difference. I took the measured depressions and now since I had my equation right here, I just put 10, 20, 30, 40 right here and calculated the calculated depression and saw the difference. I had like two to three problems over here for a cubic relationship, which I justified and moved on. And then this graph, which was absolute nonsense for my teacher, after that I made a conclusion, etc, etc, you should read that in your own time. I tell the examiner, look, this is was my research question at the very start, and look, I copied that again, and here is the answer to that research question. Thus, everything that's in the middle of my IA was successful in the end. My teacher, he told me that sometimes examiners have so much to do that in the middle, they might actually just skim over your IA pretty quickly. They look at the start, your research question, your hypothesis, and they look at the end. After that evaluation, I thought these were great ideas for their research suggestions. Uh, and uh, weaknesses, improvements, and strengths. Put source of error and its effects, significance, and evidence. You should look online for common errors uh, in your experiment. It's really important evaluation, guys. Just make sure all of these sentences right here that you see, you highlight them yourself once you understand them. As long as you do that, there's nothing that can stop you. The examiner is there to give you points, not take, out, take it away from you. All you need to do is take that criteria and make your IA so that it's like a puzzle piece. It just matches together. That's all you need to do for your physics IA and bibliography. From the internet, I cited that from the books. All right, let's look at this criteria real quick. Communication, the presentation of the investigation is clear. Any errors do not hamper understand. I made the important points bold. I put subscribe to my channel, look at my results reaction video, and also watch how I got 45 points. You guys are hitting my WhatsApp every single day, and I love that. Thank you so much, and please subscribe.